Good morning. That means it's time to take a look at all things financial with our money man, the watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski. How you doing, Chris? Very good. All right, let's start with uh, very popular articles online right now dealing with property taxes and a lot of states and localities still taxing people at near bubble levels instead yeah. of the devalued level of their home. What do you think about this? That was the one bonus that I had. My property taxes went down over the past couple of years. Well, you're lucky. Actually, yeah, I know. I was lucky. I was kind of thrilled by it. Um, yeah, it, it, property taxes is a problem. We've seen many states, state of Florida has done everything and anything that they can to try to get property taxes down because it affects, it's part of your bill. Yeah. Uh, part of the problem with property taxes in and of themselves is, is that you technically really don't ever own your home, do you? Right. Because if you do not pay your property taxes, someone's gonna go ahead and take it. There's been some ideas floated in regards to instead of having property taxes, increasing sales taxes to fund things like schools and municipal uh, functions. Should people go out and challenge the assessments uh, if they think they're too high? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a pain in the neck, but I would absolutely, I mean, you're talking thousands of dollars a year that you can save. Okay. And, and most states do allow you to do that. Yes. Uh, they just don't want to see you there at the door, but go ahead and do it. Uh, there was an interesting article in the Juggle Wall Street Journal talking about how you teach kids about money. And this uh, author was saying that you need to let them fail in order to teach them while you're de while they're dealing with their allowance and everything. Do you agree with that? I totally, I totally agree. Uh, my, I, I went through many experiences when I was younger where, you know, my father, you know, spent money that I didn't have uh, made me actually have to work it off and pay for it where he could have taken care of it when you start uh, being that uh, always that that backstop for your kids all the time they kind of get used to it after a while they kind of get into that type of a rhythm throughout their entire lives yeah you, you obviously want to set them up you want to point them and give them the road map but when they start going off the track well they have to also experience the pain that goes along with that I totally agree all right so uh, the exchange bar and grill we got to talk about this place in New York City now setting their menu prices and things like for beer based on the stock uh, sort of like the stock market what's more popular is more expensive what do you think about this um, well you and I we both lived in New York City for a long period of time and the amount of gimmick restaurants that happen to pop up over the course of the year I don't remember you remember polyesters yes I'm the Upper East Side, yeah. all 70s music, and then there was the Culture Club downtown. Yeah, I'm sure it'll work for a little while, and God bless them, they made it in the USA today. Yeah, okay, Brewmaster Gordon Gecko, I think, behind that one. <laughs> and finally, uh, 3D movies, all the rage. They cost a lot of money, though, yes. to make. Do you think it's a fad, or is it a long-lasting money-making venture? All of those, tel I couldn't believe it, all those Panasonic televisions, those 3D televisions that they shipped, sold out. Every single one of them in this, you know, recessionary so type of environment, last. I think it's... Hey, welcome back to the Daily Buzz. 23 minutes past the hour. Well, from property taxes to the much-hyped iPad, we are talking these topics with the watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Okay, let's start off first, though, with these 3D movies that are so hot right now. Mm -hmm. Clash of the Titans is going to be released tomorrow in theaters. Third 3D movie in a month. What's going on here? Well, I'm... I'm going to be at it because my kid's going to want to see it. <laughs> of course you are. I didn't get to see Avatar because it was a little bit above their pay grade. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be going to see this one as well. It looks like uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting movie. Costs a lot to produce these movies, but Hollywood's not stupid. Uh, they know that right now it's hot and people want to go see them. And they want to see all this advanced technology. Uh, we discussed earlier on the program, I couldn't believe it. They, they issued all these new Panasonic 3D televisions all around <laughs> the country. They sold out. They sold every single one of them. So do you think it's more than just a fad? Yeah, I think it's, you know, they're always looking for the next thing out there, the next technology out there. We have the Blu-ray players, now it's going to go to 3D, now they're going to have to start supplying content. And do you think people are going to be willing to pay prices of up to 20 bucks a ticket to go see these movies in the theaters? Because that's what they're talking about right now. I can't believe people spend $500 on a cell phone, but <laughs> it, it, happens, it works. <laughs> it works. People want it, they're going to go get it. Well, another thing people are spending their money on, iPads. Yes. Now, 250000 pre orders. We're in a recession. Are you surprised that so many people are signing up to buy this technology? Uh, Bill Gates is, it's, you know, he's got the, the Apple people are Apple people. They will buy any of those products. You watch that television show Modern Family. It's a new one that's out there. It's quite Everybody's funny. Everybody's telling me about this. I must be missing out. They did a whole thing on the whole iPad on it yesterday because, you know, if you, people love their Apple products, they go out and buy them. Same thing when they, when even the iPhone, you know, was, came out. There were lines up the block. I see people taking time off from work to buy a cell phone. <laughs> and so, they will stand there all night long they will camp out it's unbelievable I don't have an iPhone I don't have any plans to get the iPad but maybe I'll be convinced when everybody I know has one well 
I'm, I'm reading some of the reports in regards to the iPad. They said the technology is amazing. It's a really neat thing. It's it's superior to the Apple Kindle. Uh, but it, once again, it's it's not for serious computing. If you have to deal a lot with spreadsheets, if you have to deal a lot with writing and whatnot, it might not be for you. But you know, once again, Bill, jo uh, Steve Jobs is a uh, great job. Well, another thing that people are spending a lot of money on talking about property taxes and home prices have gone down, but people are still paying high property taxes. Well, a lot of these municipalities we're seeing, I mean, you saw in California what happened that they have to issue IOUs in regards to uh, tax refunds. State of New York is having the same problem as well. Uh, municipalities, they go out there and they, they start buying things and, and spending money that they have when things in, are going in a boom. They don't save any money. And now when, when property values start to drop, uh, they don't have that, that source of income. And it's becoming difficult for families to go there and actually try to get their property values down because yeah. municipalities are like, uh, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> Good we'll luck get to with that. that. We'll get to that piece of paper later on and then they're pushing but it it's down. It's also so. Thursday and that means it's time to check the world of finance with our money guru, Chris Markowski, the watchdog on Wall Street. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. You know, I think, Andy, we should invest. I got to find a way to invest in yeah. sex rehab centers. Yes. Because I think that is a, it's just a tremendous growth industry in today's day and age. <laughs> well, you know what? Money guru that you are, that is a fantastic <laughs> idea. I will go 50 50 with you on that. One other thing, too, because Mitch gave me the yeah. nice compliment before. I just got back from vacation. was down in Mexico. A lot of people coming up to me, you got the buzz? And I'm like, no, I'm not the Freedom Debt guy. But no, <laughs> they knew who I was. Okay. And there was a lot of suggestions, Mitch, that you would be a great American Idol judge. Mitch. Yes, Mitch English would be a great American Idol judge. That's right. I will, yes. Yes, that someday. Okay. All right, uh, uh, let's get on to a couple of right. serious things here. You know, uh, this is a, uh, an article that is one of the most popular articles on USA Today, other sites as well, talking about the fact that property taxes are still being assessed at near bubble levels when, of course, the value of many homes have gone down. And I guess municipalities just looking to still bring in the cash. Yes, we're going to uh, give USA Today for a uh, Master of the Obvious Award for yeah. today because uh, what do you expect is going to happen? I mean, you think uh, municipalities, tax collectors are going to be all of a sudden, hey, you know what? We're going to lower your taxes. No, they need the money right now. Because they're hurting. Yeah, absolutely. With all the foreclosures that are going on out there, all this assessed property, all these checks that they've been writing over the past several years for, you know, play grounds and whatever other additions they're trying to make they can't afford now so good luck trying to get that assessment down okay but you but you can try and, and the article noted about a hundred and forty three thousand people just in 09 actually appealed their property taxes it's something you should do right? absolutely absolutely but you know what it's also going to be an area where there's going to be all these all of a sudden brand new super duper experts on how to go about getting your property taxes down and it's nonsense it's, it's paperwork it is what it is you're going to fill it out you're going to have to go in front of a board there are no short Cuts. Yeah, you have to be patient. You have to be persistent. You might as well just start a sex rehab center and try to make, you go. make a buck more quickly. Um, okay, we got to talk about teaching kids money. This was another thing we saw online on the juggle at wallstreetjournal.com, talking about whether or not it's a good idea in teaching your kids about money to actually let them fail sometimes. Well, you got to let your kids, it's not just in money, in every aspect uh, of their lives. I'm just I'm a big believer of that, the more the, the Spartan way of raising kids. Right. Uh, you know, you start letting kids bounce back from everything. You know, they, they get kids in college, for instance, they go out there, they, they charge up their credit card, and you're constantly paying it off. Well, you know, that, that's a problem. The kids are not going to learn from that. They're going to continue to make the same mistakes throughout life. I mean, these are just simple things that, you know, that need to be applied uh, across the board by parents. And they, quite frankly, they're not. I mean, I, we coddle the kids a little bit too much as far as mom can Okay, and uh, finally, there's a, you and I, both former New yeah. Yorkers, uh, the Exchange Bar and Grill is now setting menu prices similar to the way that stocks prices are set. Whatever's more popular gets a higher price. Can you short beer, too? Can you, like, <laughs> drive the prices down by any stretch? I'm trying to figure out how they're going to exactly Chris, figure out how to work. <laughs> Chris, as everyone in this studio would tell you, I never short beer. I always order a tall. Uh, never, never do that.